let's get into it. Let's start on the streets of Shenzhen, where Engine AI's PM01 just became China's first humanoid police sidekick. The little guy stands 1.38 meters tall, weighs 40 kilograms, and wears the same high visibility vest as its human partners. What makes PM01 pop is agility. A 320 degree waist rotation lets it scan crowds without shuffling its feet, and last month it pulled off a fully landed front flip that went viral on Chinese social media. Engine AI is selling business and education versions for 88,000 yuan, about $12,000, so surprisingly it's cheaper than Unitree's sportier G1. For now, the PM01 is greeting tourists and keeping an eye on lost kids, but local police say it can also forward anything suspicious straight to the command center in real time. The undisputed star was Xpeng's humanoid Iron, a 5'8", 154-pound android designed to blur the line between self-driving cars and service robots. Engineers stuffed 60 joints into its frame for a total of 200 degrees of freedom. The hands alone have 22, so Iron can thread a needle or tap a touchscreen without that stiff marionette look most bots still suffer from. All that motion is driven by Xpeng's custom Turing AI chip, capable of 3,000 trillion operations per second, which is downright server class. Even cooler, Iron runs the exact same cockpit AI that guides Xpeng's electric vehicles, so your future sedan and your future housekeeper could literally share a brain. Xpeng calls this its AI tech tree, a roadmap where EVs, humanoids, and even flying taxis operate on a common software spine. In the demo, Iron Fist bumped audience members, answered questions in natural Mandarin, and lifted a delicate porcelain cup without cracking it. Subtle, but a big deal in the world of robotic manipulation